Hey everyone, this is Nathan Reinspruth. I'm uh, I'm doing a little bit out of the ordinary here. I'm just gonna do a quick, little, um, basically just a little thing, because I noticed that my Intel 4790K seems to have some problems, and uh, I just wanted to go over those problems and hopefully help out some other people. Uh, so. If you have a 4790K that's unlocked, obviously, uh, you may have some heating issues, which I do. Uh, if you notice my temperature right now while recording this is around 61 degrees, uh, bumping up around 70. That's not too good. When I play a game, it will go up to roughly 100, and that is really not good. So what I found out is that a lot of times when you get the processor, uh, it's it's overdone basically a lot of the values are wrong so I found a way to fix it so if you look at all these settings you see that this turbo boost short power max is at 4900 or 4090 that's not good uh, processor current limit is high Every, everything here is pretty jacked up and this is the Intel extreme tuning utility is is what you want to download to use this so what I did is I created a profile here which you shouldn't have to do but it kind of changes everything so if you notice that the processor current limit is down to 105.500 or it, it usually it's it should be at about 105 uh, I turned on the process or turbo boost power max to 88 watts uh, change the dynamic CPU voltage offset to zero. Uh, change the turbo boost short power max to 110. And I changed the turbo boost power time window to eight seconds. And if you'll notice down here, my it was hover, hovering around 60 degrees while recording this. And it's jumped down to around 50 degrees. So it, it's made a big effect and it, it definitely helps it. Now when I use it, when I'm playing this game or playing games, uh, it doesn't go up to 100 or 200. Why would it go up to 200? It doesn't go up to 100 like it used to. It usually goes around 60. And I can show you a brief stress test here. Uh, I won't do it for too long. Let's say about, uh, you know, a minute there. And I'll talk while doing this. So I found this on a forum. And this really helps out. I was having a really hard time. I bought a new heat sink. I bought a new pretty much everything. And, uh, you know, to do with the processor, just trying to get it so it could become playable, basically, without frying my Intel, you know, 4790K $300 processor. So this helped out a lot and if you notice the CPU temperature isn't going up very high so around 72 degrees which isn't great but it used to right when I started the stress test it would go up to a hundred and I would say definitely try this out see if it helps fix your problem and if it does give me a like if it doesn't help fix your problem give me a dislike uh, I do thank you guys for watching and uh, if you like this tech tip uh give me a give me a subscribe button click thing so thanks for watching